Hi, I'm Margie Remmers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the fast and easy way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor certification. Today, we're going to be walking through one of the exercises in our advanced level course, Section 1, Lesson 2, which is about classes and locations. Now, there are two exercises in this, um, in this lesson, and they are big. Like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. However, they're optional exercises. There's actually very little that you have to know about this particular topic um, in order to pass the test, and that is covered in the course. So this exercise that we're going to go through, which is um, all about creating and using classes, is, um, is just for your edification. I don't want to slow you down going through the course and getting your certification to go through this, um, to go through this exercise. But if you would like to further your knowledge, if you'd like to really understand how classes work and, um, and how to use them, set them up, then stick with me and we're going to go in into it um, in this exercise. So before we get started, if you would like a copy of this exercise um, or if you'd like to find out more about our courses, you can just click uh, check out the links below. So let's get into this exercise. Our scenario is Craig would like to track his income by residential versus commercial services. Use the classes feature to set this up for him and provide reports to show the sales for each class. All right. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to log into the sample company. And I have that set up right over here. All right. And um, and then we need we need to actually turn on the classes feature. So the way that we do that is we go to the uh, gear icon accounts and settings. By the way, um, don't forget, this is an advanced level course. So or this is an advanced level exercise. So I might be going a little fast for um, some of you that are following along. So this is an advanced level exercise. Um, and I won't be going as much click by click as I do in the other videos that you might watch. All right. So anyway, so here we are, gear icon, account and settings. And then we're going to go to our advanced tab. And in the advanced tab is this section, categories section. And I'm just going to turn on classes. So I have a couple of options here. Warn me when a transaction isn't assigned a class and assign uh, a class to each row in the transaction or the, uh, the other is to assign a class to the entire transaction. So we're just gonna leave those settings the way they are and click save and then done, okay? So now that we have turned on classes, the next thing we have to do is create those classes. And we do that uh, again under the gear icon. Actually, let me turn on my next step. Okay, set up the classes. So gear icon, and then we go to all lists. And now that I have turned on classes, I have this option here for my classes. So I am going to use the new button right here to set up my two classes, residential and commercial. These are not subclasses, uh, they're just one level. So we're gonna hit save. So now that I have my classes set up, the next thing I wanna do is I'm going to use the reclassify tool to assign classes to the past transactions, okay? So I'm gonna go to my accountant tools, reclassify transactions, and uh, what I recommend in the exercise is that you um, set your date as January 1 of last year. 
Um, I have I don't really know how far back the transactions go in the sample company, but if you set it for January one of last year, that should be broad enough to uh, to catch them all. Unfortunately, you can't just type it in. I've tried it many times, um, so just use the arrows and then select January one, and then for the next date, you want to just hit today. Okay. All right, let me make this a little bigger. Usually that is all on one line. Can we get that for you guys? There we go. All right, usually those filters are all on one line. All right, so, uh, so here we are. We're going to find our transactions. And then uh, because this is residential versus um, commercial, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to sort the transactions by customer vendor. And then I'm, I can just go through and I can see who is a residential customer and who is a commercial customer. And what we're doing next first is we're going to identify those residential customers. So I'm going through Bob's. Basically, I'm just looking for the ones that are names. So here is Gita. I'm going to check all of those. There's Mark Cho. There's, uh, oops, I forgot to do one thing. I just remembered. So in this example, we are only looking at the income where Craig didn't want us to look at all of, uh, to classify everything. We're just classifying the income. So I forgot to do something really important. And that is for the type, I want to select only the invoices. Okay, so let me do that again find my transactions. Here I am, much better. So Amy's Bird Sanctuary, and I'm just going through. There's Gita again. Gita and John Melton, Mark Cho, and one more. There should be Travis. There he is. So we're going to select all of those residential people. We're going to click Reclassify. And right here, we're going to say change the class to residential and then click apply. OK, so once I have reclassified the residential customers, now I'm just going to do the commercial transactions. And for that, I'm going to select all of the ones where the class is none. OK, so these are the ones that don't have any and find transactions again, okay? And now I can use this checkbox at the top to select all of them and reclassify them to commercial, okay? All right, and it says we didn't find any transactions. That's not an error. It's because we still have this filter applied, okay? So there are no longer any invoices that don't have a class assigned. OK, so now that we have done that, we can run a profit and loss by class report. And there are a couple of ways to do this. So first of all, I'm going to go to uh, my reports. And you see that I have here, let me just scroll that up a little bit. I have here a profit and loss by class report that I can just use or I could also just do a regular profit and loss right here and then add class to it. So let me show you both of those. I'm going to hit profit and loss by class. I thought I was going to hit profit and loss by class. Sometimes this happens. You just have to, in the sample company, it doesn't behave. So you just have to refresh the screen. And there we go. All right. Because this is the sample company, I always have to select all dates for my report because who knows what's out there in the sample company. OK, so now this is my profit and loss by class. And um, I have my commercial residential and then not specified. Remember, we didn't uh, add a class to all of the transactions. We only added the class to the invoices. So you're going to find in here anything that was income 
uh, that was processed as a sales receipt. And then, of course, all of the expenses are going to be not classified. So we could go into those specific transactions and change them if we, if we wanted to, or we could leave them um, not specified. So this is the profit and loss by class report, but you could also build your own uh, report by going to the profit and loss, regular profit and loss. Again, I have to go to all dates run report, and then customize, okay? And then right here for the columns, I could select to show me the classes right there. And if I hit run report, you'll notice that that is exactly what I just saw in the profit and loss by class report. Um, I could also, um, if I wanted to run a, a profit and loss for just one of these classes in my customize, I can use the filter and I can say, for example, that um, I only want right here where it says class, I only want to see the residential ones. If I run report, okay, so now I'm only looking at the residential profit and loss. And to add one more layer to that, you'll notice the residential and total are the same. So since this is only residential, I can actually take off this residential column and all of the, these totals would reflect the residential. If I did that, of course, I would want to change the title so that it said specifically you know, that this is the resi residential, okay? All right, so that is the profit and loss. The next thing I wanna show you is a really cool uh, report once you have classes that just kind of makes your life easy. And that is the sales by class summary report, um, which is right here, sales by class summary. So if I click that, again, always have to change all dates because we're in the sample company. Um, and this is just a really fun, uh, is it fun? I'm a geek because numbers are fun to me, but it's just a really nice snapshot. Craig might be really interested in just this very, very simple report that shows um, for a specific date range that his income for his sales for those different um, those different classes. Okay, all right. So if you found this exercise helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified every time that we post a new video, make sure you subscribe and ding the little bell. If you have any questions about this particular exercise or about our courses in general, leave a comment below and I will get back to you right away. Um, do remember that this is an advanced level course. So um, if you want um, to get it at your hands on just the exercise so that you can walk through it a little bit at your own pace, a little bit slower maybe than I did, um, information about that is in the links below. And that's it for me. I will see you next time.